So first open the browser and search for OpenCore Simplify. And here's the link. Open it. Now click on this drop down. Click download. Now it's completed. Now again, search for hardware sniffer. Open this link. Click on latest. Click hardware sniffer. Click on the three dots. Click on keep. Click on the drop down. Select keep anywhere. Now it's done. Close it. Go to this PC. Go to download and you'll find these two files. First, extract the core file. Now it's done. Now we'll have to open hardware sniffer. Double tap on it. Wait a few seconds to gather files. Now you can see Hardware Sniper has gathered every single detail of my system. Type T. Hit on the Enter key. Now type H. Hit on the Enter key. Now again type A hit here on the Enter key. Now again type A hit here on the Enter key. Now you can see everything is done. Click on Continue and close it. ACPI dump is there. And if you go to the Results folder, you can see ACPI. Okay, go back. Go to download. And now go to OpCore Simplify tool again. Here you'll find the tool. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Click on run. Click on yes. Type Y and hit on the enter key. Type 1 to select hardware report and hit on the enter key. Then go back to download. And here go to results. And here you'll find report.json. Right click on it. So copy as path, go to this window. Right click on here, and it's pasted. Hit on the enter key. Now you can see everything is loaded. Press enter to continue. Now you'll have to select a Mac OS version. For example, if I want to install Mac OS Tahoe 26 beta, I'll have to type 25. And if you want to install Mac OS Sequoia, Mac OS Sonoma, you'll have to select as per order. I'm typing 25 for Mac OS Tahoe 26 beta and hitting on the enter key. Now, here's asking for ACPI table. Here's the ACPI table in the download folder. Right click on it. So, copy as path. Right click on here. Go to this window and right click on here and it's pasted. Hit on the enter any key. Now you can see everything is loaded and Mac OS tab 26 beta is selected. Now if you want to customize your ACPI patch type 3 and hit on the any key. Now you can change here as per requirements. You can select anyone from there which is white and which is green, that means it's selected. So my recommendation is if you don't have a deep knowledge over here, leave it as it is. Type B and go back. Now if you want to customize your kexts, you can also do by typing 4. But we end. Now we'll type 5 to customize SMBIOS model. Type 5 and here on the any key. Now here's the catch. If you want to change your SMBIOS model, you can easily do, in my case, it is unlocked only iMac 20, 2 iMac 20, 1, and MacBook Pro 16, 1, MacBook Pro 16, 2, and MacBook Pro 16, 4, and Mac Pro 7, 1. This models are unlocked for me. Actually, this will work for me. And if I select this gray colors, actually, this will suck my PC. This will not work, so do nothing. Type B and hit on the Enter key. Now the final stage, building the open core EFI type 6. Hit on the enter key. Wait a few seconds to complete the process. Now you can see it's done. And now here you'll have to select your layout. And you can see by default the layout is 22. You can also change as per your requirements. So I'm typing 22 and hitting enter key. Now the EF is completed. You can see the EF is here. Now you can close it. Now you're good to go.